In this example, we're going to solve the equation the square root of 2x minus 5 minus the square root of x plus 1 equals negative 1. What type of equation is it? If you notice on the left hand side, I have two square roots. So this is a two radical equation. Because remember, square roots are radicals. So how do we solve a two radical equation? We need to isolate one radical on one side and then square both sides. I think for this example, it will be easier to isolate this term on the left hand side since all we have to do is add the square root of x plus 1 to both sides. But the problem could be worked easy, equally easily if I isolated this term too. So we're going to have the square root of 2x minus 5 equals, notice I'm going to add this square root to both sides, so I'm going to get negative 1 plus the square root of x plus 1. Now what I have to do is I'm going to square both sides. And when I square the left hand side, it's nice and easy. This square undoes this square root, so I just get left with 2x minus 5. But be careful on the right hand side, I'm squaring a binomial. And remember the best way to square a binomial is to use this here. a plus b all squared, first term squared, twice the product, last term squared. So that's the method I'm going to use to square a binomial. So I'm going to square the first term, so I'm going to have negative 1 all squared plus twice the product, 2 times negative 1 times the square root of x plus 1 plus the last term squared, which is the square root of x plus 1 all squared. So I get 2x minus 5 equals negative 1 squared is 1, and this is negative 2, the square root of x plus 1. And when I square a square root, I just get the radicand, which is x plus 1. So notice, am I better off than I was to start with? I've gone from two radicals to one radical. I only have one square root left. So how do we solve a one square root equation? We isolate the radical and then square both sides. Well, notice on the right hand side, I do have two terms that are like terms. So I can add those together. So I'm going to simplify the right hand side before I continue. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So now I'm ready to isolate the radical on the right hand side. So I'm going to have to subtract x from both sides and subtract 2 from both sides. Don't forget to do it over there. So I get x minus 7 equals negative 2 times the square root of x plus 1. Now, is this radical totally isolated? No, because I have a negative 2 in front of it. I could isolate it by dividing by negative 2, but you're going to start introducing fractions into this problem that you will then have to get rid of later. So I think the simplest thing to do at this point, again, is square both sides because all I have is one term on the right hand side. Now please be careful on the right hand side, I do not do it this way because what I have now is a times b all squared. And remember from your rules of exponents, that's a squared times b squared. So let's work on the right hand side since that's what, what I was just talking about. I'm going to get a squared so I'm going to get negative 2 all squared times the square root of x plus 1 all squared. I've squared those terms. And let's simplify this before I look at the left hand side. Negative 2 squared is 4 times the square root of x plus 1 all squared is just x plus 1. Now we're ready to look at the left hand side. Here I have to square a binomial. Notice there are two terms. So I'm going to have to use this method up here. 
So what I have to do is I need to write the first term squared, so I'm going to have x squared plus twice the product, 2 times x times negative 7 is negative 14x plus the last term squared. Negative 7 squared is 49. Okay, so now I can bring this down here, x squared minus 14x plus 49. And now if you look at this equation here, it's a quadratic equation because notice the highest power on the x is a 2. So I need to get all my terms on one side. I think I'm going to have to scroll up a little bit. So I'm going to have x squared minus 14x plus 49. Distribute the 4 in, so I'm going to get 4 times x is 4x, 4 times 1 is 4. So this is a quadratic equation. I need to get 0 on one side. We've done this several times now, so let's get 0 on one side, subtract 4x from both sides, and subtract 4 from both sides. So I'm going to get x squared minus 18x plus 45 equals 0. So now this is a fairly simple quadratic equation. We're going to try and factor it. Remember, if it won't factor, we can use the quadratic formula. Multiply to x squared, so I have an x and an x. My two numbers here and here have to multiply to a positive. That says the signs are the same. This says they need to both be negative. So I need two numbers that multiply to positive 45 and add to negative 18. So my two choices that, w I mean my choice that works, excuse me, is 3 times 15. Set each factor equal to 0. So I get x equals add 3 to both sides, x equals positive 3, x equals 15 when I add 15 to both sides. But remember, this was a radical equation with square roots in it, so I must check both my answers. What I did was, during the pause, write out the original equation, since it was so far up the screen we couldn't see it, and then I've written out the check that I just want to show you. We need to plug each of the answers we get into the original equation. So I need to plug x equals 3 into here and here to see if I land up with a true statement. Is the square root of 2 times 3 minus 5 minus the square root of 3 plus 1, does it equal negative 1? This quantity here, 2 times 3 is 6, 6 minus 5 is 1, is the square root of 1 is 1. Here I have the square root of 3 plus 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, is 1 minus 2 equal to negative 1? Yes, this is a true statement, negative 1 equals negative 1. Therefore, x equals 3 is a solution to this equation. Now we need to check x equals 15. Again, plug it into the original equation, 15 here and here. So I get the square root of 2 times 15 is 30 minus 5. 30 minus 5 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. Plug in a 15 here, the square root of 15 plus 1 gives me the square root of 16, the square root of 16 is 4. Does 5 minus 4 equal negative 1? Well, 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 does not equal negative 1. That is a false statement, which means that x equals 15 is an extraneous solution for this equation. So how many solutions do we get? We just get one solution, and what's the solution? x equals 3.